Bathory Jacobs, and I play Lilith Bathory on the Order, who is a member of the Knights of St. Christopher, which is a werewolf group. Um, and we found out in season one, also is a former member of the Order, so was both a magic practitioner and a werewolf that fights bad magic. And so Lilith has like a chip on her shoulder and kind of something to prove, and is kind of a hyper feminist who's kind of a badass, I would like to say. And, um, and yeah, I'm really excited to explore what happens with Lilith in season two. But you start, you start, the character started off so nice, and then she seemed to kind of just go all in on the magic. Can you talk <laughs> a little bit about what it is about the magic? Uh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't want to say go crazy. Or I don't want to say go power magic. Well, I think, like, in season one, uh, throughout season one, Lilith always had kind of, like, an issue and a funny taste in her mouth around the order, and she wasn't entirely sure why until we find out later on in the season that it was actually because she had been powdered before, that she was a member of the order before, and that she was expelled for reasons that we don't know yet, that we may find out in season two, um, that she's bitter because she was kicked out and now she's no longer in the order and so there was a feeling of that that was constantly there uh and then when she finds out she realizes how corrupt they are and does want to fight the bad magic even though lilith can have come across a little abrasive i think at heart she has like so much love and for everybody and in her life for the knights of saint christopher for jack who she was originally reluctant to accepting into the group um, but I think Lilith is all heart, and and yeah, I mean, that's something that I would love to see carried through into this next season. Um, do I love Lilith in the beginning? Like, <laughs> you are one of the yeah. few people <laughs> who love Lilith in the beginning. Like, when you first showed up, I was just like this. <laughs> um, so, what does, like, um, uh, how does your training go? What kind of research did you do to make Lilith the character that she is? Any characters you take? Specifically around Lilith, I definitely have some people in my life who inspire this character. Um, when I had auditioned for Lilith, I was going through the scene and it was the scene where she's trying to teach Jack how to transform into a werewolf. And so it was just like a straight up thing and she's supposed to be bloodthirsty and really intense and very aggressive, but I'm like, I think she enjoys this much more than was written on the audition page at that time. And so instead, I bought a bag of Doritos, and I ate the Doritos through the scene, and then they ended up adding the chips to that scene yes. later on. And I think just, like, finding the joy in those moments, because she could be so hard, that's something that I definitely wanted to infuse and, like, show the cracks that she's actually just, like, a, a like, wolf pup having so much fun yeah. in his bloodlust. Yeah. <laughs> Where would I like to see Lilith go? I, I mean, I know this doesn't make for great TV. You always want to have drama. I'm like, for Lilith, ultimately, I just want her to have her like secret society of werewolves and like have a second to hang out, like not have drama. But it's a TV show, and it's not going to be that way. And it's filled with tons of drama. Um, I do know that leading into this season that Lilith gets um, caught in the middle of a love triangle. And oh. so that is something I can't read any more into that. But we, know, we already know one of them though, right? We know it's got to be Randall, right? Well, I mean, that's the whole Randall question, the right? Yeah, you know, oh yeah, she was, she did have a thing for Randall. Yeah, at the yeah. end. Well, so the did have a thing. had a thing for each other. Yeah, we end. definitely so had a thing for each other, but then what happens when we get powdered? Right, I, there you go. So then what do we remember? How much do we remember? How much of our powerful wolf hides feed into either healing or um, intuition or even like ringing when magic happens? Those are all questions that are going to be answered and explored throughout this. And you still have a magic ability too, so I mean... You know, but you're, does you're Lilith, is, he, is Lilith even aware of this? Yeah, I mean, so that makes it that much more complex. I mean, you feel yeah. like the truly complex, complex character. It's true. I mean, everybody's like pegging Jack off as this double agent, but like, who's been the double agent this whole time? <laughs> but, but here's, here's, here's a weird 
first time they were at the end of the season they wiped everyone's memories. But it's really stupid to try to wipe away everyone's memory because you spent all that time training the controller to wipe the memory. The werewolf is going to. What heck is with that? How well, we're right? going to have to find out. But also, like, people forget that in season one, that Alyssa had restored the memory of. Of Lilith, and, or was it Alyssa? Anyway, like Lilith in season one gets her memory restored, and so it very well is possible there are spells for that. And so everybody is so mad. I'm like, maybe that happens. Maybe like the wolves find their own way to it. But it's within the realm of possibility that we can remember this. So people are just gonna have to tune into season two to figure that out.